what you guys got another video here for you another Windows 10 bug and I'm going to show you how to fix it in this video basically Windows File Explorer search does not work as you can see up the top right hand side here when I click on this there is no response I can't use this to search the computer for files that are on my hard drives and this can be said for all the drives on my computer now the main search down the bottom left hand side works but it's just the file explorer search that doesn't work but you can use this method to fix the main search or Cortana search down the bottom of the left hand side as well so let's go ahead and take a look at some of the things we can do to try to resolve this problem so I'm going to close this box off now and uh, I'll go through some of the steps that we're going to take okay so first off let's open up task manager here and what I'm going to do is just close off uh, the Cortana here and hopefully sometimes for small minor problems this can sometimes resolve the issue especially if it's just a small problem that you've got and you need to restart Cortana you could also try and restart uh, the computer sometimes that does resolve the problem so I don't want you to go through a bunch of fixes if you don't have to so let's try something basic first off and uh, unfortunately this didn't resolve the problem that I've got here I'll just quickly try again as you can see it's not working still so what I'm going to do here is move on to the next thing that we can try I'm going to go down to the search box here and I'm going to type inside here services and that should open up the services pane here just click on services here now what we're looking for here is the Windows search we're going to make sure Windows search is running and we're also going to restart that Windows search just to make sure that it's all okay so let's just click on the Windows search or you can right click and go properties it's entirely up to you and you can see it says it's already running so what I want to do here is change this to automatic and apply that and also stop it just to see whether there's an issue and restart it you can also put that on automatic delayed start if you wish it will still be okay so we're just going to try those two and see whether that works unfortunately it didn't work for me so we need to move on to the next thing here so next up what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go down to the search box and I'm going to type in here control panel and we're going to try the troubleshooter but unfortunately the search up in the control panel doesn't work either I normally type in there troubleshoot or T uh, but in this case we can't do that so what we're going to have to do here is close this off and we'll use the bottom search down on the bottom left hand side here now if you can't type in here then you can get uh, to this via the settings pane but I'm just going to type in here but if you want to get to that you can get to this location here by going to settings and uh, it will allow you to find this here so I'm going to go back down to where it says search and indexing and click run the troubleshooter and let that run and we'll go through some uh, troubleshooting steps here I will speed this part up once I've uh, got to the area where I want to put the tick box in and there we go so files don't appear in the search results that's the one we're going to try and fix here and uh, what I'll do is I'll click on next and I'll speed this process up I'll also run this as administrator to see whether that resolves the problem now nine times out of ten that troubleshooter doesn't really do uh, what it needs to do uh, but it's worth trying uh, as you can see here unfortunately it still doesn't work for me so we need to move on uh, to some other things that we can do here okay so what we're going to do here is go view and then options and change folder and search options once we're inside this little box here we need to go up to the top where it says search and click on that tab just going to put in the tick here always search names and contents this might take several minutes and you can uh, click apply and uh, that will apply that feature so I'm going to click OK here and we can close that off and what we're going to do next is go down to the bottom left hand side here and what I want to do here is I want to type in here control panel and we're going to open up the control panel so type control panel click on control panel app and there we go so what we want to do here is we want to go to indexing options and that is on the right hand side there so click on indexing indexing options 
and this will open up another little box here and from there what we can do is go to advanced down the bottom there now you also see troubleshoot search and index in there so if you need to get to that location from there you can do and that's if you can't type in this search box now also in file types go down to the bottom index properties and file contents and uh, once you've got it there if you click OK here it will start to rebuild but you can also click on the rebuild and troubleshoot in here and this will automatically start doing a rebuild of the indexing as you can see here so just give that a better time and uh, it will take a bit of time you can run that in the background you don't need to uh, worry about uh, leaving that box open you can close it and it will build that index okay also what we need to do here is just check to make sure the drive is allowing indexing so right click go properties allow files on this drive to have contents indexed in addition to file properties just make sure that that is ticked on the drives that you want to have indexed so we're just going to click out of here and we're going to right click on the start button and go to PowerShell uh, with admin just click on this one and a box will open up there we go and now what we can do here is we can paste in this command and what that's going to do is reset as you can see here our Cortana our Windows Cortana just push enter once you've uh, typed that in the box I'll leave that in the video description for you so you can just paste that in and uh, it takes a bit of time and you should see a little green box pop up on the PowerShell window once that's uh, managed to reset that there we go and hopefully that has resolved your problem so once that's finished we can close this off and we can move on to something else so what we're going to do here is go start button settings and then what we want to do is go into the search box here so go search inside here and we're just going to make sure that this is all set up right and it's running okay you can also clear all the history here for the devices and search as well just to make sure on here and just uh, search history settings there you can see all that there and you can clear all that to make sure it's working correctly also you can see here find my files it's on classic at the moment but if you want to put it on enhanced you can do uh, that's another feature that you can add to uh, to your windows settings it will eat a bit more uh, cpu usage so just bear that in mind if you want to leave it on classic you can do just make sure all the paths here are correct for the search that it's doing and you can see here we can click on here and everything is being indexed as we speak still so now we've done that what we need to do here is move on to the next step now sometimes what you can do is create a new user profile or a new user account and this sometimes rectifies the problem maybe your profile has got corrupted some way so go back into your accounts in the settings pane here go to family and other users inside here you'll be able to add someone uh, else to this PC and you can basically add that in once you've added that profile in you can then give that profile administrator privileges you can go in here as you can see I don't have this person signed in if you don't have any sign in information if you do you can sign into another account and also give that account uh, some privileges here but we're going to say add this without Microsoft account because I use Microsoft offline accounts put in your username of your choice and uh, your password and set that profile up you can then log back into that new profile that you created that will build a new profile and then you can delete the old one and then copy all your data across if you want to that's another option available to you if you want to do that I've made videos on creating a new user profile so if you want to check that out you can do okay so let's move on to another fix here we're going to go into control panel here and open up control panel inside here we're going to go to programs and features and we're going to click on there and we're going to go on to view installed updates this is your windows updates and inside here what we're going to be looking for if you're running uh, the windows 10 version 1909 uh, we're going to uninstall that because it is believe it or not it is that that can cause problems if you're on the latest version like me the reason why I added the other fixes in is because just in case it wasn't this 
so uninstall Windows 10 1909 update you can just click on this one and click uninstall you can right click on it and click uninstall or you can click above you and click uninstall this is the latest version of 1909 there is a bug and it will stop your um, file explorer search from working so just bear that in mind if you are on 1909 you can check here and it should tell you the windows specifications this is 1909 i did roll out that update uh, a couple of days ago and of course i will be uninstalling it and rolling back because obviously uh, it was happily working before i did that so now i'm back to 1903 and i won't be installing 1909 until they fix that search here so as soon as i uninstall that update as you can see it now works so it was a bug with 1909 so bear that in mind if you have got 1909 just make sure you uninstall uh, that update if it works for you then it's not affecting your computer other things you can do is open up a command prompt with administrator and try sfc space forward slash scan now and run this on your computer and this can fix any problems with your computer yours might be slightly different to what i had if you're not running windows 1909 so you might want to run those if you're still having problems up to this stage of the video then you can try this command dism space forward slash online and then space forward slash clean up and then dash and then you want to put in there image and then space forward slash and we're going to do restore health all one word like so push enter and let that complete okay and hopefully that will resolve your problem if you're still having issues with that if you're still having issues after you've tried all these things and you've done everything in this video then go to start settings and then what you will need to do is do a fresh reset on the system so go to update and security come down to recovery and you can go to where it says more recovery options click on learn how to uh, fresh with clean uh, install you can see here at fresh start click on this get started and this should then uh, give you some instructions on how to do a fresh start on windows it will say this will remove all apps and programs except uh, those that come uh, standard with windows just read through there but be very careful i would advise you to back up all your data it says your data will be fine but always uh, back up your data before you do any of this it will reset all your programs so all your programs will be removed from the computer as it says here so before you continue make sure you back up all your data just in case in case you run into any problems i'm going to cancel out of this but if you do want to reset your pc you should be good to go after you've done that and uh, everything should be working fine but if you are running windows 1909 just uninstall the latest update and roll back to 1903 and yours will be working just like this so hopefully that one helps you out it took me a while to work out what the problem was but eventually we got there in the end and of course i could have added that bit right at the very beginning of the video and cut everything out and edited it that way but then it might not be uh, the fix for some other people anyway that's going to be about it for this video hope this one helps you out my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk that's basically how we fix the file explorer search not working in windows 10 i shall see you again for another video tomorrow thanks again for watching bye now for if now. you haven't subscribed yet hit the red subscribe button and then hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos